Yes, yes, yes. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody back to the Remix Morning Show here at Black Power Media, uh, where we are now joined by a very special guest whose name I'm going to attempt and be checked on happily here in a minute, uh, Sayum Habtimarium, who is, among many other things, the president of Germany, Germany People of African Descent, who is here to talk with us about issues related to the October 23rd uh, election day in the city of Tübingen, Germany, who where a racist mayor, more uh, Boris Palmer, is known for racist slurs against Black people and use routinely of the N word, and sees this as a matter of freedom of speech. Brother Sayum, welcome to the program. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So set the table for us, if you would, uh, uh, and, and if we could start with your organization. What is your organization there to do, and why is it necessary to have an organization whose concern is Africans in Germany? <clears throat> the main purpose of uh, our organization is just to, to combat racism. Uh, Germany has a long story in racism. And it's also very difficult for people of African descent here, especially for younger ones. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, I mean, in the past and till now, we have uh, youngs who are committing suicide and it's disturbing their uh, development, especially for, for, for children, also for adults. And to combat the daily racism, and just we found this organization to protect us. This is the purpose of our our organization at, in the first right place. Do you all happen to do you do you happen to know Senfo Tonkem? Do you know Brother Senfo Tonkem? Senfo Tonkem? Do you know Senfo? No. A, okay, sorry. He, he he does similar work in that area, so in, in that country. So I was wondering if you happen to know. So so tell us then about this this immediate issue that you're 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 confronting now. Um what what is the situation and and what is it that you are are looking to call people's attention to yes the problem what we what we face is since almost since 2012 uh, the mayor of the city uh, he is using n word and stigmatizing black people and immigrants and non white people at all uh, and uh, for our surprise uh, he is calling on the university um, linguists who approved him using N-words or, or other uh, slurs against black people and derogatory words are not racist. So he using it since then. And uh, and again, in 2014, uh, just a couple of people, we tried to confront the university uh, on this matter. And uh, the university at that time defended the, the mayor and even they published uh, and they, they put in their publication many N words and against us. And uh, since then, the the press, uh, the regional press in the city, and the university and the mayor, they are cooperating. And it's a huge institution. That's what we are facing. And since then, still, uh, I mean, you see in in all news medias uh, about the mayor, about his uh, racist slurs. Uh, uh, you know, some of the words even, I, I don't want to mention them here, and we are facing a big problem, you know, and uh, you can be attacked, you can be harassed, and we have no, uh, just any guarantee, because it, it starts with the words, everything, and that's what we are facing, and this mayor is going to be elected again uh, in the coming uh, Sunday, it's election in the city, 23rd of August, uh, October, and again for the coming eight years, and uh, this is our, it's a big issue for us. And at the same time, just we are calling a boycott against the university, uh, who is encouraging the mayor to use uh, kind of uh, slurs, slurs against black people and words. A university, which is uh, a partner to 43 universities in the United States, and again, 23 institutes of the university, state university, uh, California State University at the same time. And we're talking about the the Eberhard Karls University in uh, Tübingen in yes. Germany. Could you talk a little bit, just very quickly, uh, uh, say more, please, about the relationship to universities here, but also where exactly in Germany are we talking about? Uh, for those of us who aren't maybe as familiar with the landscape, uh, yes, 
the university is in the southern Germany, southern part of Germany, close to the Stuttgart city. It is like uh, 84,000 people are living in the city and 20,000 of are students. And uh, this university is in partnership with uh, 43 universities in the US, like uh, the University of Maryland, uh, the Michigan University and uh, <clears throat> Washington University and University of New Zealand and Montana State University, uh, UNC Greenboro in Northern Carolina and New Jersey, Princeton and uh, Oregon State University, Tampa University, College of Charleston, and in Texas, and Washington University of Washington State, Seattle, and uh, in Alaska, University of Alaska, Arizona State University, California State University with its uh, 20, 23 institutes together, wow. and uh, Colorado, U University of uh, Denver, Colorado, and Connecticut, Yale University, and District of Columbia, for example, Georgetown University in Washington, and uh, uh, Maryland Un University of Maryland in Hawaii, University of Hawaii, Iowa, uh, Dark University, and Illinois Roosevelt University, Chicago, Indiana, Butler's University, Indiana, Indiana University, Birmingham, and uh, Valparaiso University in Valparaiso, and in, Ken in Kentucky. In the, so, um, yes. No, it, no. I appreciate it. I, I, I'm just glad I didn't hear Morgan State. On the, on the, play. Say you uh, can I ask a question. Um, yeah. can, can you explain to us the difference in the ways that anti-black racist hate speech is tolerated in German society versus anti-Semitic speech? Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, it's tolerated. It's, um, it's the best question what you what you what you did now. Uh, they are tolerating uh, the anti-black slurs and at the same time uh, they are very uh, sensitive uh, if you use anti-semitism uh, slurs and sometimes even <clears throat> I give them an example just I tell them okay just take out the blacks and put on that the Jews and what it looks like oh they say automatically they don't accept that you know. Mm -hmm. And I would also, by the way, because I, I, I similarly is because we we would hear about Germans, you know, issues obviously with Jews, but then and maybe sometimes even with with Muslims, yes, but not specific to an issue of blackness. Uh, so that I was also interested in that as well, uh, um, and and maybe to what extent there's an overlap even, um, but uh, uh, so yeah. Appreciate hearing that. Um, so, what is it that you would like to see ha happen here? So, like when when you talk about when you're reading off the list of these universities, what what is it? For instance, if, just as an example, um, I don't I don't know the, the I don't know if you even know the extent to which the, the, these relationships what what they actually mean or what could be done. But are you looking for uh, students maybe on these campuses to raise some questions, faculty to raise some questions? Uh, are you looking for people to contact the 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 university there in Germany? Uh, what is it that you hope to, to to have happen when you get the word out about what's going on? Yeah, we wish we wish uh, as well the professors, also the students, force their university just to to, to demand stop collaboration with uh, Everard Karl University unless they continue on that. And imagine uh, you have student exchanges. Those students uh, just using N word and uh, it, what is normal for them, and coming to the US and uh, want to practice that at the same time. And uh, I wonder, for example, you have in, in some universities, I experienced you have uh, 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 Pan African departments. I, I saw some in, in California, for example. And uh, how do they feel those professors just to just in the department of Pan-African uh, studies and uh, just having students from abroad from from Germany who are just uh, for them normal is to, to use uh, N word and uh, slurs against black people. What you are demanding is and what we wish to see the students over there and the professors to demand their universities uh, to stop cooperating with the Everhard Karl University unless they excuse and stop these things. You know, the problem is the university is encouraging the mayor and the mayor is uh, all the time uh, 
use this N word and uh, uh, just undermining uh, the, the people of African descent, people of color here, and it will be very normal for the population just to to discriminate uh, to discriminate us. And it comes from the intelligentsia. You know, it becomes also like that uh, during uh, the the time of colony. Germany have a very very long, but most of the people they don't know. And even it's not given in the school. They don't know their past. You know, Germany had 400 years of transatlantic slave trade. The first German colony was when there was a state. It was Venezuela. You know, they stand there. And in the U.S., they participated for 400 years in the slavery. And then they have uh, the first genocide committed against black people in Namibia. And uh, they built in Togo just 11 uh, jail and one school. And <laughs> in Tanzania, the same thing, what they did. But they don't know that. And uh, again, they want to use slurs against black people. And when you say, stop, why are you using that? No, uh, we don't need a, a language police, they say. You know? And uh, what very sad is even... When I'm talking to you, the university on its own website, on its servers, you can find many N words. I will send you uh, the links just after the show. Hey, shout out to the to the AAPRP and my 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 Maji Maji study group that's consisted of a, of, of a whole bunch of Africans in Germany. Uh, uh, commemorating with the Maji Maji name the 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 history of what those germans were doing down there in in east africa so so yeah we're we, we, very good we, we appreciate that that um so, i did want to ask this very go ahead come out my bag yeah go ahead i'm um, sorry just one quick question no, no, go ahead. so what is the what what's uh, you know maybe two and one what are the activities that the organization is engaging in mm -hmm. to try to fight back against this um and what is the general feeling it sounds like you just you said earlier in a conversation that this mayor is going to get reelected. So it sounds like there's support from the larger white population in the city. So what is even the, the feeling, are, are folks worried about incidents when they walk down the street? Like, so what's the collective feeling of black folks in this particular area in Germany as we, as we speak? Oh, the mood is uh, very sad, very bad. And uh, <clears throat> what we are looking for is, you know, uh, now, uh, Germany cannot, I mean, most of the European countries, they cannot depend alone. Uh, just they are dependent in, in one or another form, with Africa, with the rest of the world, and so on. I mean, in, in education, in um, Roma, in everything. So, uh, what we are trying to do is just to, 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 to impose sanction against the university and uh, to, to change, the, the, to, to change the, the situations because uh, this city cannot exist also uh, just uh, if, if, if the city is uh, being known uh, for being a racist city and it, it will damage them in point of tourism and the students will not just choose this, this city to come to this university. And so they will be forced to change their attitudes and to, to accept the situation, even to teach in the future also their colonial pastors, you know. We are just, it's more, more than 10 years we are fighting against uh, the, this racism here in the city. And now we said enough is enough, just we will go straight forward to call a boycott and we called a boycott. And I send you also by mail the boycott we called, just the boycott is just uh, against this institution. I mean, the city now will become uh, just institutional, the racism will become now institutional because the mayor, yeah, this is for example what you what you display is, uh, yes, it's a university professor, now he's in pension, but uh, all what he writes, uh, just, I, yes, there is a red line under it, which is the N-word, those things are just published in the city newspaper at the same time, uh, just they are uploaded on the server of the, the city university in the Eberhard Kahn University, for example. There are many of them that. And now the racism in this city has become just institutional. And uh, if the mayor uses words, if the university just prints those things, and uh, the people, they will not just uh, back uh, an inch to, 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 to offend you. And it's very bad, especially for the young ones. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. just showing here the, the 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 calls you all put out uh, for an international sanction against the Eberhard Karls University of Tübingen uh, yes. to stop any cooperation because of racism, reproducing racist insults against Black people. Um, listen, I know you know I appreciate what you're doing. I, I don't know the the arrangement of of the university system there, but but I suspect that there's some similar uh, encouragement or or or. Um, uh, discouragement to, to have faculty speak out on these issues because uh as we're told here often um if you hurt the enrollment levels uh you know of students coming in you hurt your own job uh so don't you know don't offer up any public criticism of of your own institution but uh in reality the institutions need to be corrected and maybe that would increase the student enrollment down the line so anyway i i just you know on that level i appreciate what you're doing as well and thank you for taking the time to, to share with us this issue. Uh, any last uh, quick thoughts for us this morning? Uh, and again, of course, we're happy to have you back. Um, this is in fact what BPM is in part here to do to, to help share these stories. So uh, thank you for coming. But any 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 last thoughts before we, we wrap up this morning? Yes. Again, again, just uh, my message is to everyone there in the US, also to Canada, those universities who are cooperating with Everhard Carl University, just to, to stop, to demand their university to stop collaboration with this university unless they <laughs> reconsider their mistakes and apologize and change in the future. If not, just this is my appeal to the university professors, also the students there. Thank you very much for having me, Mr. Ball. Dr. No, it's a it's a ple no, it's a pleasure. That's what we're that's that's what we're here to do. So thank you very much for joining us, uh, and good luck with your with your organization. We'd love to hear from your your organization uh, more down the line, uh, and uh, help them as well. So appreciate you. Thank you. All right, everybody, let's continue on here at the Remix Morning Show. More Black Power Media. Let's keep it moving here. <laughs>